You're your own man now. And the decisions you make are yours and yours alone. From here to the end. Let me tell you about the last two kids I had that gave me hope. You two guys could choose any graduate school in any field you want. I think you're missing the point, Doc. But that the Army's a better gig? These events are going to define our lives. Well, I'll tell you, right now, that is a dead-on statement. Six years ago, you were the first to call me the future of my party, and this is me returning the favor. To discuss what, exactly? To see if you'd like to write an honest-to-God story again. What's the story? Do not believe everything you read in the papers. The enemy is getting stronger. The enemy is getting uglier. Lieutenant Finch, shoot your boys good. Roger that, sir. Rodriguez? All up, sir. Glad to hear it. You will introduce the enemy to the full measure of American mean. Are we clear? Sure. You've already sold the war. Now I'm asking you to help me sell the solution. Lock and load! But, Senator, what have we been doing for the past six years? What is relevant is the implementation of a new strategy. Two minutes! Don't you think it might be critical to examine how we got to this how point? How and why is not the issue now. We have to move forward. So when does it start? They didn't land at their objective. Where did they land? Crash landed three kilometers south on the plateau. There are people all over the world, every day, who are fighting to make things better. If it takes 10 years, that's how long we stay. We do whatever it takes. Says the man in the air-conditioned room. They bank on your apathy. They plan strategies around it. The Charlie Tech is alive. The kid and my boys. And the problem is not with the people that started this. The problem is with us, who do nothing. It was all right there if we had bothered to connect the dots. Do you want to win the war on terror? Yes or no? This is the quintessential yes or no question of our time. Can they see us? Yes or no? 